Hello, welcome to my class. Today I'm going to cover section 15.5 surface area. We can consider this section as an application of a double integrals. In fact, there are a lot of applications of double integrals. In our previous sections, we used double integrals to find the volume of a solid. Similarly, we can use double integrals to find the center of mass, moments of inertia, probability density functions. So let me start with the definition of surface area. Let S be the surface um, given by z equals to function of x, y and d be the domain of our functions f, x, y. Then the area of the surface S over the domain d is given by the formula. A of S equals to double integral over d and the integral function is under the radical 1 plus partial derivative of f with respect to x square plus partial derivative of f with respect to y is square times surface area element dA. Or double integral over d of integral functions under the radicals 1 plus partial derivative of z with respect to x square plus partial derivative of z with respect to y square times dA. So here this misty one is simply the partial derivative of f with respect to z or partial derivative of z with respect to z. Great. So this surface area is the area of this surface. So one way to think about the surface area is the total amount of cloth it would take to wrap around the solid ones. Great. Now let's compute the surface area using the formula given here. So let's just start with the example one. Let me scroll down. Example one, find the surface area of the part of the plane given by 3x plus 2y plus z equals to 6 that lies in the first octant. So in the first octant, x is greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0, and z greater than or equal to 0. So let's sketch the uh, graph. So this surface, let's, let's find the uh, intersection with x equals to 0, y equals to 0, z equals to 0. Then the 3x plus 2y plus z equals to 6, you put y, z is 0, then gives x equals to 2, so x intercept is 2 put x z 0, y equals to 3, so y intercept 3, put x y 0, then z equals to 6, so z intercept is 6. So we got the surface, the triangular surface, and then we do need a, a double integrals, means the limit of double integrals over the plane region d, so let's project this surface on x y plane, so put it z equals to 0, then the projection is simply 3x plus 2 y equals to 6, which is this line. So now we have a plane region D, it's a triangular region. And we, we describe a D in either vertically simple or horizontally simple. So let me describe D here, the vertically simple. So draw the slice and then, and then the Y value is given by the X axis, which is Y equals to zero. And the upper limit of Y is given by this line is three X plus two Y equals to six solve for y, then y equals to 3 minus 3 half x. So now we, we have the y limits. Now for the x limit, take x equals to 0 and x equals to 2. Great. So then to apply the uh, surface area formula, we do need to take the partial derivative of our function with respect to x and with respect to y. Now let's, let's take the partial derivative of z, z equals to 6 minus 3x minus 2y. First compute the partial derivative of z with respect to x. Mm. So here 6 is constant, so partial derivative of z with respect to x becomes 0. Negative 2y is constant, so partial derivative with respect to x becomes 0. So then partial derivative of z with respect to x is simply negative 3. Similarly, partial derivative of z with respect to y is negative 2. Great. Now, let's compute the surface area. 
Then by formula, surface area equals to, so the double integrals, 1 over x, 1 over y. So the x limits is 0 to 2, y limits is 0 to 3 minus 3 half x. Then under the integrand, 1 is square. I mean, it's the, no, 1 is the, just the 1, the, that's the mystery 1, mysterious 1. And then gx squared, negative 3 squared, plus gy squared, negative 2 squared, times dy dx. So the integrand is constant, which is 1 plus 9 plus 4, is radical 14, pull outside. And take the integral first with respect to y. So integration of dy is simply y, and put y equals to upper limit. So in our next step, radical 14 outside, then write the x integral 0 to 2, and then the dy integral gives you y, y equals to upper limit, which is 3 minus 3 half x dx. Then integrate with respect to x, so radical 14 as it is, so 3x minus 3x square of 4, put x limit x equals 0 to 2. Then evaluate at x equals to 2 minus at x equals to 0, then this gives us 3 radical 14. Now this is the surface area of of the given questions in one. Great. Similarly, let's move on. Let's compute in two. Find the surface area of the part of the surface. Surface is given by f of x y equals to x times y that lies within the cylinder x square plus y square equals to one. So here, domain of the integral is the projection of cylinder on xy plane which is a circle and the circle we use a polar coordinate so in the polar coordinates the limits are r between 0 and 1 and theta is between 0 and 2 pi and in polar coordinate we also know r is square equals to x square plus y square and area element d equals to r dr d theta great the next Let's take a partial derivative of functions f and apply the formula. Let me scroll down. So our function is f equals to x times y. So take a partial derivative with respect to x. And keep in mind, when you are taking partial derivative with respect to x, y is constant. And similarly, when you take a partial derivative with respect to y, x is constant. So these functions, f equals to x, y, the partial derivative f with respect to x is y, and the partial derivative of f with respect to y is x. Then by formula of surface area, surface area equals to double integral over plane region d under the radical 1 plus partial derivative of f with respect to x square plus partial derivative of f with respect to y square times the area element of dA. Then let's convert this plane region uh, to the uh, uh, limit in d to the polar coordinate, which is theta 0 to 2 pi, r 0 to 1, then under the radical 1 plus x square plus y square times dA. Copy theta limits, copy r limits, or theta integrals and r integrals. Under the radicals, 1 plus x square plus y square is r square. And then dA is r times dr times d theta. This equals to, so we can integrate separately. So from theta integrals, we got 2 pi. And the r integrals, this is a good candidate for u substitutions. So let's put u equals to 1 plus r square, then its derivative is du equals to 2r dr. If you wish, you can change the limit. So when r is lower limit 0, u is 1, r is 1, u is 2. Then next step, just copy the 2 pi. Then your r integrals becomes u integrals. So under the radical, 1 plus r square becomes radical u, and r times dr from here, d over 2, which is here. Next, cancels 2, 2. Then you have pi times 
the integral of radical u which is same as u to the power one half is u to the power three half over three half but dividing is same as multiplying by its reciprocal so just flip it and multiply by two thirds and put u limit one two two then put u equals to upper limit minus u equals to lower limit then your final answer is two pi over three times radical eight minus one great similarly let's move on let's do another example example three let me scroll down that's better so example three find the surface area of the part of the paraboloid z equals to x square plus y square that lies under the plane z equals to nine so let's sketch the surface the paraboloid opening upward in this elucidated part and z equals to 9 is this plane and we do need a, a limit of double integrals over the plane region so let's find the cross section of this plane and the paraboloid so solve these two equations put a z equals to 9 then x square plus y square equals to 9 which is this circle and project on the xy plane which is x square plus y square equals to 9 and it's a circular domain with a polar coordinate. That's the idea. Great. So in the polar coordinate, our limits are r is between 0 and 3 and theta between 0 and 2 pi. Now we have the uh, limits for our double integrals. The next, take a partial derivative of given function. So function is z equals to x square plus y square find the partial derivative of z with respect to x which is 2x find the partial derivative of z with respect to y which is 2y and compute these expressions which goes under the radical in our surface area formula so 1 that's the mystery, mystery number and gx square so 2x square is 4x square gy square is 2y square is 4y square which is 1 plus 4 times x square plus y square and in polar coordinate simply this equals to 1 plus 4 times r square great let me scroll down then our surface area equals to the double integrals over r and theta theta goes from 0 to 2 pi r goes from 0 to 3 then under the radical of this expression which is 1 plus 4 r square times the dA, dA in polar coordinate is r times dr times d theta. I hope this setup makes sense to you all. Then this equals to, we can integrate separately theta integral and r integral. So theta integral gives us 2 pi and r integral I copied as it is, r integrals are equal to 0 to 3, r times radical 1 plus 4 r square times dr. It's a good candidate for u substitution. So put u equals to 1 plus 4 r square. Then the derivative gives you du equals to 8 r dr. We can also change the limit of integrations. So when r is 0, u is 1. When r is 3, u is 37. Then let's rewrite our r integral in terms of u integral. So 2 pi as it is. Then the integrals over u equals to 1 to 37 and then here so this term under the radical becomes under the radical u and r times dr is from this expressions 1 over 8 du 1 over 8 du great and let's integrate with respect to u so we can cancel this 2 to 8 4 times so pi over 4 and then Integration of radical u means u to the power 1 half equals to u to the power 3 half multiplied by 2 third and then put u limit u equals to 1 to 37 and the next step you cancel the common terms in numerator and the denominator and put the u limit upper limit minus lower limit and your final answer is pi over 6 times 37 times radical 37 minus 1 great 
So we found the surface area of this given surface in example 3. So we finished these sections. And in the next section, we'll start the triple integrals. So thank you.